Solve Special Chemicals is located on the banks of the Rhine in Germany. Thousands of tons of celestite arrive here every week. Celestite is made of strontium, sulfur, and oxygen atoms bonded together as strontium sulfate. But the industry needs strontium carbonate to make fireworks. To transform the compound, they first need to burn off the oxygen. For that, they need a lot of fuel. At the docks, a massive crane hauls in loads of a coal-like fuel called petroleum coke. They burn it in a gargantuan rotating kiln, 230 feet long. The temperature inside reaches 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. Andreas Lorscheid carefully monitors the process from mission control. We have here on the side of the oven a camera. And then we have in the messwachter the monitor. And then we can see how the material is leached. Wie das, äh, wieder brennt und wieder dann rausfließt. As the celestite and petroleum coke travel through this machine, the fuel ignites and burns away the oxygen. This turns the insoluble strontium sulfate into water-soluble strontium sulfide. Dissolving the strontium sulfide filters out insoluble impurities. The last step in producing the industrial chemical strontium carbonate is carbonation. They need carbon dioxide for that. Luckily, there's an unlimited supply right below them. Because this plant was built on a dormant volcano. Deep underground, volcanic activity produces vast amounts of carbon dioxide. They bring it to the surface using giant wells. Carbonated water is pumped into sealed tanks where the carbon dioxide and the strontium sulfide react, forming 98% pure strontium carbonate. Most of it will be used to make flat screen TVs, ceramic glazes, and car components. But some of it has a bright future, making flares and fireworks. The final destination of this strontium carbonate is 300 miles away in Cambridgeshire, England. Here, Kimbleton Fireworks will use it to make bright red fireworks. John Hayes's red fireworks are designed to burst into tiny stars when they explode. He weighs the ingredients he needs for this explosive recipe. Starting with strontium carbonate, he adds rice starch as a binding agent, magnesium, and aluminum powder for fuel. Then he carefully carries the finished mix to the bomb-proof chamber next door. Most bomb shelters are built from strong materials, reinforced to withstand any explosion. But this room is designed to fall apart in a blast to limit collateral damage. The only thing blast-proof is the wall separating each room. If there was an explosion in this room, um, somebody that side, that side, or the other side of the factory wouldn't get, wouldn't be damaged. Uh, it just be me. John shapes his stars in a rotating steel drum. He wets the powder with purified water and it gradually clumps into balls. He rolls them in gunpowder and then they are ready to be packed into shells. They fill each cardboard tube with half an ounce of gunpowder, 
Then pour in 125 exploding strontium stars. This is the result. 900 million watched Kimbleton's fireworks display at the 2012 Olympics.